I think I think Starlink is one of the biggest. I think the biggest achievements that we're going to see in the next five to ten years. I think Starlink and their competitors, because Amazon, Jeff Bezos, and has his own company. Bill Gates has a company out there. So what basically Starlink is is it's low orbit satellite uh, telecommunications and you're connecting not to a cell tower, you're connecting to a satellite. You can have that for internet service at your home, but also the transition is going to be you're connecting to that via your phone. And where that is right now and so advantageous, and T-Mobile is, is, has an agreement with Starlink to start in next year, how that's advantageous, if you think about it, if you're out in a remote area and you don't have a signal, well, think of the old movies or the movies still today, you have the sat phone, the satellite phone, you're in the middle of the desert and you have that sat phone and they're calling each other. That gives you that availability to not only not only make a phone call, but text, et cetera. And if you're lost in an area, you don't have a service, that's great. There and also, you know, if you've ever been in a, a bad weather situation where you had a hurricane or a tornado where the cell towers go down, it provides that backup service. Eventually, that will start to speed up and you will have a situation by which we are using low orbit satellites just solely as well. Now that's, that's a ways away, uh, but it is a transition. And there is, as I just mentioned, some of the players in it, they're spending 